Morning guys, how you all doing? Uh, TFIF, thank fuck it's Friday. And I am sitting here now, it is 10 to 10, uh, and I paid for a pre-10 uh, delivery, so they are pushing their luck. Uh, I was hoping it would be here at like 9 or half 8 or something like that, but no. Obviously, when you want something to come quickly, they are dragging it out until 10 o'clock. So, that, and no doubt they'll even be late. I guarantee you they're late. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing at the moment. I'm sitting here, I've got a webinar at 10.30, so they really need to be here before then, uh, or I won't even be able to get up and answer the door. So, here's hoping that uh, they deliver on time. It is FedEx, and I hate FedEx. Uh, I've actually got something coming over from China at the moment. It's a, uh, a motorised unit for my slider with remote control and everything, which is I'm ridiculously excited about. And uh, it is taking forever. N normally with like DHL and UPS, I get stuff from China within two days, which is incredible really. But with FedEx, it's taking over seven days. Uh, I mean seven working days. So I don't know what is the matter with that company, but they are ridiculously slow. So anyway, uh, that is the position at the moment. I'm gonna leave you there and I'll be back with you obviously with a bunch more pixels. Well, here we go guys, and yes, it was late. Can't wait to get these open. I've had to stand out of the room to get it in the frame. <laughs> so, there we go guys, they're all down. Now what I've got to do is I've got to somehow work out how to rearrange, rearrange those to be able to have all the monitors fit and line up and everything like that. So this is really where the fun begins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base it around the bottom screen. So the bottom screen fits perfectly but it comes up uh, a short distance off of the shelves here which is actually what I've wanted. Um, rather than the, previously they actually sat on top of the shelves um, because they were so heavy it was just better just rather than relying on that but these are less than half the weight um, so what I've done is I've evened it up by putting uh, three of these on each side I've put a top monitor on there and then I've measured the difference in overlap because the one at the top actually overlaps uh, this one here and I've measured it and it's two centimeters which means that what I've got to do is move these up two centimeters or uh, 200 millimeters. So yeah, each one of those here, sorry about the baby, uh, has got to go up 200 millimeters, each individual one. So we're getting there. Uh, it's been It's been actually fairly easy, but I've got one kind of major problem and that is that the uh, actual stands that hold them on, they're not, like a hundred percent accurate and solid so when you put like a tiny bit of weight on them they move ever so slightly um and also the fittings and everything have got like a little bit of play in them so you can't do it specific you know like a hundred percent uh accurately which is probably a, one of the reasons before why we had the monitors sitting on the ledge because then you could kind of work from there and have that as a as an even level um, so with them just kind of hanging in midair, they tend to sort of just tilt slightly and this kind of thing. So um, I've had to put some little things underneath the stand. I've got a battery under that one. This one here actually is not too bad. But you can see here like the gap uh, between them is sort of going thinner. So I need something to, to wedge up at that end because there's no way that I can use the actual mountings themselves to give myself like a perfectly accurate 100 percent line so in hindsight i probably should have started from the bottom up but then the problem is is that the gap at the top here would have been huge well not huge but it would have been for me unacceptable so i've got to just kind of think out a neat way to balance something under here i think what i might do is speak to simon uh, who made the desk for me and get some more of this material to the exact height and just run it along the bottom there so it matches up uh, with the shelves, uh, with the sort of drawers if you like, um, and then just do it like that because that will look absolutely fine uh, and it will give it the kind of support that it needs. The alternative to that is to try and think of something else but at the moment they're not on secure, well they're on securely but they're not kind of bolted in their final position so 
Um, now that I'm sort of fairly happy with that, I'm going to take them all off, plug all the wires in, take all the stickers off, put them all back on, and this time I'm going to obviously do up everything 100% tight and um, get them into their kind of final uh, nesting positions. But so far, looks very good. And as you can see, the reflection uh, on these, even though I've got a huge window open here, is much, much less uh, than it was before, even with all of that on there, until I go to a very specific angle. Um, and this window is never open as well. Uh, the blinds always pulled down. Um, yeah, the reflection situation with these is much, much better. The only thing I will say uh, in the kind of negative, well, there's two negatives. Uh, one, they've got this silver strip here going through the middle, which sort of separates everything, if you like. It gives, if I put this down level, uh, it gives it a sort of separation. So I may have to get a marker and just run along that that bit there the whole way along, um, or potentially take take it off somehow. But I think it's all sort of moulded into into one. Yeah, it is. You're never going to take that off. But I might. Um, yeah, I'll either just colour that in uh, or paint it. Maybe I'm not sure yet. I'm going to speak to someone who's a who's a car sprayer and see what he thinks the best thing to do is. Um, and then. Uh, the second sort of, neg not necessarily negative if you like, but a little bit is because all monitors have this sort of recess here between the bezel and the screen, with the uh, cinema displays and even with these app uh, with these Dell ones, they were all glass. So the display was almost right at the front. So when you looked at it, it looked more of a kind of complete pane of glass, whereas these are all sort of individuals if you like. Um, so yeah, but the thing is that there aren't any other 4k monitors that have got that kind of look and feel so it's absolutely impossible for me to get that whilst having the overall quality uh, of this kind of screen so there's always a kind of trade-off uh, i don't think it will matter too much once you're kind of sitting at it uh, it's just like an, a basically an observation i've made at the moment but anyway i'll let you know i'll get on later well <laughs> i'm in a complete state there is just shit absolutely everywhere as you can tell but there we go 50 million pixels the time lapse is still going off uh, as you can hear but yeah um i haven't fully lined up the monitors perfectly how i want them yet but i'm gonna have to tweak that um with little kind of bits and pieces but for now i need to tidy up and enjoy just look at that 50 million pixels just playing videos on a few of the monitors all at once just to show how it's working sweet no lag at all. So guys, that is it uh, from me today for another Thank Fuck It's Friday. Um, I hope you've uh, really enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, please help out on my uh, Patreon campaign. I'll leave a link down in the video description. And uh, thanks for all your comments, feedback and uh, everything else. Uh, it's been entertaining, even for me. See you later. Have a great weekend. Peace.